This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Carnivine! Such a silly, silly plant. The design inspirations of this Gen 4 non-evolving plant is pretty obvious at first glance. It's a Venus flytrap. A pretty dinky one at that, hang on. There we go. Look, I made it evolve. <laughs> It's just bigger. The Venus flytrap. It's a carnivorous plant with vines. So, carnivine. Carnivorous vine. Wow. At least it's arguably the most famous carnivorous plant in the world, thanks in part to the million and a half other monsters from movies and video games that are based on them. But now, what if I told you that aside from the shape of the head and mouth, it actually has more in common with other carnivorous plants than it does to the Venus flytrap? Yeah, it's a big conglomeration, a big floppy conglomeration that eats a lot. You could say it's a conglom dob 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 mama planteration. Who wrote this? I did. I hate myself, don't I? Well, I don't hate today's sponsor. It's Squarespace. I made my own online merch store with Squarespace long before they sponsored me. It's great. With Squarespace, you can easily build and run the website of your dreams. Their best-in-class templates get the hard part of web design out of the way so you can focus on what's important, the meat of the website. It's as easy as swapping images, typing text, and moving blocks, and setting it up and maintaining it as an online store is simple too. And if you head to squarespace.com, you can get a 14-day trial and build the site of your dreams, and then, Use the code LOCKSTHENOGGIN at squarespace.com slash LOCKSTHENOGGIN to get 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Boast yourself with a professional looking website today. Venus flytraps are native to the wetlands on the US East Coast, which is sort of the, uh, the, the opposite side of the planet of Hokkaido, which is what Sinnoh is based on, which is where Carnivine lives, and they are also dying out. Woo! 93% of them have died in the wild since the 80s because we suppress too many fires. Venus flytraps are fire resistant and low to the ground. So when a wildfire happens, it kills off their competition. But we stop the wildfires before they do their natural thing. So the flytraps are dying. Life is really complicated. Adding to this complication, why does a plant eat meat? What do vegans have to say about this? Why would a plant eat meat? Well, because the bogs and wet savannas they live in are extremely poor in nitrogen and phosphorus, which are two things plants need to survive. And two things that bugs and animals have plenty of. The thing is though, plants don't move. So they gotta do something to encourage bugs and animals into their trap. Venus flytrap mouths are actually their leaves, and they have hairs on them that can detect when prey is crawling on them. But they don't just close willy-nilly, thankfully. They wait until a second hair is touched in a short time span, just to make sure it's a bug. Closing and reopening takes energy that they don't want to spend. But the snapping shut can happen in a tenth of a second. And if those hairs continue feeling more movement as the bug feebly tries to escape, it rules out the chance that it's just a rock or something that fell on it, and will begin the digestion process. Also, there's a reason it's got those big gaps in its teeth. It's to let smaller bugs escape. If the bug is too small and it's not worth the energy costs to digest it, then it doesn't want to digest it. So it leaves an opening big enough for small bugs to leave. And the devs of this game definitely kept that in mind, because there are some noticeable gaps between Carnivine's teeth. Plus, it's Japanese name name, Muskipa, seems to be a combination of the Venus flytrap's specific name, Muskipula, along with Sukipara, which means empty stomach, and Sukipa, which means gap between the teeth. It's a gap between the teeth stomach Venus flytrap. What a name. So the digestion process has started. It has now snapped its mouth so tightly that it is hermetically sealed. Basically, it's like a stomach. It secretes digestive enzymes and transfers nutrients everywhere it needs to go in the plant, which can take days. So Carnivine, according to the decks, taking a whole day to eat prey is actually pretty fast for a Venus flytrap. Though another dex entry states it binds itself to trees in marshes and that it attracts prey with its sweet smelling drool and gulps them down. Neither of which are things that Venus flytraps do. They stay as low to the ground as possible and they also don't smell like anything other than a plant, I guess, with some rotting bugs maybe because there's bugs that are being digested in it. But there is another carnivorous plant, the pitcher plant, AKA monkey cup or if you're feeling scientific, the Nepenthes. Nepenthes not. It does do that. Also, it's Victory Bell. It hangs out in trees, climbing them with its vines, and makes a sweet smelling liquid to make bugs, along with small frogs and lizards, stop by for a whiff 
only for them to fall into its slippery pitcher and get digested. Here's another one. Venus flytraps have roots. They stick to one spot low to the ground and they don't freely move around or hover like carnivine does at all. But there is another carnivorous plant we can talk about. This is Aldrovanda vesiculosa, the water wheel plant. It's an aquatic plant in the same family as Venus flytraps and it is also carnivorous. But instead of being rooted, it just floats around in the water waiting for prey to bump into its leaves and it then snaps shut and functions very similarly to a Venus flytrap. Also, unlike the Venus flytrap, it does live in Japan. Woot! Though not in the Hokkaido region. But I'll give Game Freak a pass. They didn't really start thinking everything's gotta fit the real world inspiration that the region of the game is based in. They didn't do that for a few more generations after this one. Though, if we look at Eutricularia, bladderworts, another genus of carnivorous plants, they live all over, including Hokkaido, and they are essentially aquatic pitcher plants with a bladder sticking up out of the water or in water-rich soil, and it lures bugs in with a slight sweet smell, but instead of them falling in, they get sucked in when the trap door opens from them touching it, and then they get swooshed in via all of the water that it's sucking in. And this process only takes 10 to 15 milliseconds. And again, again, they also don't have roots. Just like the water wheel. Almost like it's, it's, it's that mixed with the Venus flytrap. That's what carnivine is. But also, carnivine is said to be gluttonous and have an unruly temper, which while you can't really say that about plants, even carnivorous ones, it is definitely based on the cultural depictions of carnivorous plants in media, such as Audrey from The Little Shop of Horrors and the piranha plants in the Super Mario games, especially Petey Piranha. And Carnivine is just the Pokemon equivalent of that. And it's pretty silly looking, like an alien version of Kermit the Frog. Hence them giving it to James in the anime. Plenty of opportunities for- Time to play, not time to fight! James' hair isn't dental cloth! Stop it! When I was young, I'm sorry! I am not a piece of fruit! Carnivine! Deja vu! 